that's a really, really clever return. Oh, redirecting the power quite magnificently there. Oh, Ooh. that's in. Got the dip oh. on it. Well, Christian Karin, I don't know if he just didn't quite connect with that first forehand there. It was a little tentative, wasn't it? Yeah, it looked as though he could have done a bit more. It appears. Okay, and that's beautifully played. Oh, there it is again. That's sublime. And Galan had to have felt good about that forehand when he hit it. Yeah, he's in good position. He's a long way out of court, but the speed of Garin and the, the control as well. Nice finish. That's outstanding. Clutch tennis at its finest. Top seed on top in the semi final in Santiago, but that last point reflective of the whole set, really. Oh, it's nicely done. It's loose, it's hard to read which direction it's going. As a qualifier. Oh, that is. Absolutely exceptional. Oh, that'll do. It's beautifully done, isn't it? First of all, the backhand up the line, there's no that. indication that. Oh, he's got it again. <laughs> again, that's right. He did one earlier, didn't he? That caught the line. Oh, what a wonderful point that is. Both of them. himself into a little bit of a pickle there, didn't he? He's quite often taken the pace off with the slider out wide, hasn't he, from the juice court? And it hasn't always worked for him. That first serve was a little timid. And oh. oh, yes! Well, the top seed would just love to be top dog in the Chilean capital this week. And Christian Garin has just taken another giant stride towards that title. Too strong in the end for a very spirited Daniel Elahi Galan, who's had a terrific week here. But the quality of the world number 22 just shining through. That's a wonderful point from start to finish. Again, it's just brilliantly simple. Kept him guessing. That's Ooh. caught the light. That is good against anybody. Get another life in this game, though. Oh, that yeah. is exquisite. 
It's perfectly played. and It didn't need to be anywhere near as good as it was. Exit combination. Oh, my word. That is so special. How on earth has he found a, a gap up the line there so far back in the court? Wallace just hesitates perhaps if he set off immediately he could have got it, but what skill that is way back, probably about a... Yeah, he's been pushed around there by Del Bonis very, very expertly. Oh, nothing wrong with his touch and feel at the net, is there? Well, did this just catch the tape? Because Bagnus was. Yes. Couldn't quite believe it, but no, I don't think it did. Doing Del Bonis a disservice. That was a beautiful little touch. Soft hands. Magnus yeah. oh, yeah. gets it done at the fourth time of asking in this opening set. He had been yeah, knocking louder ball. and louder on the door. Finally, it opens. Done it again. That was even better. <laughs> it really was. That point seemed lost, didn't it? The serve was very deep. But... That is wild from Del Bonis. And what a feeling it is now for that. The wait is finally over, and how good does that feel? At the age of 31, Facundo Bagnis is finally into a final, an ATP final. He has had to wait a long time for that.